Morning chaps. Out in the Northern Lake District. Gonna bag three Wainwrights on this trip. We parked the Keswick side of the A66. You can hear the noise now, the racket. Just near the housing estate at the bottom. Blur rig, black. Blur rig or something it's called. It's where we parked. So we're gonna do Latrick Fell first, up to Skiddle Little Man, and then camp on Long Scale Fell, I think it is. So this bridge we're crossing now over the A66 is part of the Cumbria Way. And Latrick Fell, is that thing up there? It's steeper than I thought. Out with Carl. Just saying it's uh, first time both of us have been out in a while. A few months for Carl. When I was ill all over Christmas, my mountain fitness is non-existent. So it's going to be uh, it's a short one, but I think it's going to be tough because neither of us have a mountain fit at the minute. Right, let's have a look up here. Carl's just mentioned to me the last time we were on this track it was two and a half years ago when we did the Cumbria Way and we just had a thought of what gear that we had on the Cumbria Way when we did that. Have we still got any of that gear with us now today? And I haven't got one single item of gear that I used on the Cumbria Way that I've got now. So basically I've replaced every single item. It's mad, mad, crackers. And the only item Carl's got is his water filter, yeah. I think I might have my sit mat, my little square sit mat, maybe, but that is definitely it. Different tent, different sleeping bag, pad, rucksack, everything, water filter, stove, boots, clothes. It's mad what we spend on this hobby. Obviously I won't, well I hope I don't need much else now, I hope. I've got everything I want, but there's always something. There's always something you didn't know you needed. So yeah, we came up here from Keswick on the uh, Cumbria Way, which is a fantastic walk. If you ever get five or six days off where you can do that, I mean, it's doable in four, but yeah, definitely worth a go. Whew. Too much Christmas pudding, way too much. Right, we're turning off up here somewhere. Never does it justice how steep it is. Well, we're up Latrig. Uh, we think the Wainwright is the bench, but we, we bag in all the summits as we go past, so we'll, we'll no doubt get it. And the clags come in and the rains come in as usual, no views. <sighs> Pretty grim. Are you getting your waterproofs on now? Yeah. Yeah, this is trouble. It wasn't forecast this. Oh. Right, I ain't putting water piece on. I just boil. Even though it's Gore-Tex, I still boil. Yeah. And I'm not quite keen on having my phone out in, uh, in the rain. That's all I do these videos off, by the way. It's just uh, an iPhone. I do all the editing on the iPhone, the video, everything just on just on an iPhone. I used to use 
the GoPro, but the sound wasn't brilliant and the battery life was rubbish and you're carrying all that extra weight, so I just carry my phone now. So, right, waterproof time. Yeah, I've not done much filming, as you can see. It's all claggy and it's wet and it's horrible and cold and why do we do this again? Why do we do this? The views, oh no, no views. Yeah, we just had a quick bite to eat. Plodding on up. Yeah, you get cold when you stop, so gonna get going. Won't film too much in, in this, it's not worth it. Well, we're at Lesser Man. The weather's still atrocious, so I'm not gonna film a lot. I've not even plugged the microphone in. So you've just got what you can hear. Yeah, it's just all claggy and wet and cold and but great fun, you know. Also wouldn't do it. You still get a good sense of achievement. Right off to little man in the clag and then turn round and come over to Long Scale Fell and camp there. Crack on. Skiddle little man. If you can hear me. We're not doing Skiddle itself today because we've got that planned in to another route that we're gonna do. So it's a mile that way further on. Oh, 20 pence on the floor. Boom, gets in. Still got a bit of snow hanging about, as you can see. Hit the snow. Carl just did a a wind meter reading up there, and the wind chill at eight mile an hour was minus two. Minus two. So, even though it's not a snowy camp like we'd like, it's still a. Uh, Still reminding us that it's winter. I'm trying to find a water source now to get some water for the camp. But we don't really want to melt snow if we can help it. Well, we just picked up our water for the camp from these pools just at the bottom of Long Scale Fell and it's absolutely thick really cold and over here oh you can't see it now we're going out of sight just over the brow there just down we've got Skiddo House Long Scale Fell Number three of the day and the last one. The drizzle's back on. What height are we here? We got seven summer meters. Seven summer meters. What's it saying? Yeah. Oh, I can't multitask with mine. Two thousand three hundred feet. Two thousand three hundred feet. Well, this is on for the night. <coughs> yep. Cracking. Bit of a short one, I think we've only done about five miles, but like I said earlier on, just uh, no fitness really. And I've not got my microphone plugged in, so it's a bit breezy. Trying to avoid that. Why I bought the microphone, but it's so wet, you don't want to damage anything. Now we'll get these tents up, and get warm, and get a brew on dark in a, I don't know, hour and a half or whatever. Well that Skiddo house in the distance there, right in the centre of shots, and all the clags just lifted. You can see. Yeah, 
When we did that, couldn't be aware I was on about earlier. He actually come down, was my hand, I got my hand in shots. He actually come down that way towards Skiddle House. And I've had a bit of a, not a disaster, but a fault. That was my doing. These are uh, loops for the pegs. They're, uh, I think they're kind of a webbing loop. Anyway, last time I went out, I used my ground dog pegs, and as I pulled it out, and everything was frozen, it sliced the loop. <sighs> I've got a loop I can show you. Anyway, that's where we are. Cal's just there. We've come from up there. But with no views. So I've got my Rab 900 again. In that bivy bag I had altered, had a zip put in. So yeah, the Rab 900, my X-Ped, Matt, I forget what it's called now. Uh, what's it called? The R5, you can see that there. Yeah, because it's they called it the R5, because it's got an R value of 4.8. Well, that's not 5, is it? I brought a foil mat because I thought we might be sleeping on ice. So that's why I brought that. Yeah, I'll show you some things later on. But we're expecting a little bit of wind tonight, but not nothing drastic, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't take much to feel cold with that wind. Tighten everything up. Go round again in a bit. Yeah, need a brew. Gonna get a brew on something warm. This is on for tonight. Not bad. Not bad actually at all. Whilst we've still got some daylight. I'll just show you a couple of tips. In fact, this is one of Carl's tips. Just had that mug shot, and instead of dirtying my pot on my mug, I've poured the water into the packet and just let it out of the packet because they stay waterproof. You can eat them out of there, keep your pot clean. So that's magic. I brought today, I brought some hand warmers. They're always good to have a pack. But I suffer from cold feet and I've got some foot warmers. So I'll be putting them in my socks later on. Keep my feet toasty. I've just brought my small 650 pots. My deluxe MSR stove. And the windshield from Optimus. Don't really need the windshield to be fair, I don't think. <clears throat> and the the better MSR canister stand. Well worth the money then. So that's what I've got. Yeah, just on one of a dehydrated meal for later. Nothing special. We've seen them all before. Yeah. All cozy. What temperature have we got? 2.1, colder than my fridge, that. On a bit of a slope, we'll end up in the porch overnight. Now let's hope we get some stars or something tonight. Make up for all these lost views.
well, it's only about 7.30. Been stuck in air tents because the weather's been miserable. But it's 25 degrees in the tent. 24 degrees. Woohoo! It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Put it between two hand warmers. <laughs> That's what temperature it went to. <laughs> right, it's raining outside, it's miserable, it's horrible. I've watched a two hour film on Netflix, which was called Vesper, which was just stranger than strange, weird. So I've got a bit of whiskey. I'm gonna put it in some hot chocolate which is kind of kind of I don't know that is so careful in the tent boiling water yeah it's all damp inside so yeah I'm going to have a whiskey not chocolate and watch another film and go to sleep. So yeah, living the dream. Living the dream. Right, probably see you in the morning. Morning chaps. A bit of a rough night last night with the wind. Uh, shadows in the way. Um, yeah, we knew it was going to get quite windy in the night and it's supposed to pick up to about 30 miles an hour. I tried to measure the wind speed outside. I was getting 19 mile an hour just outside the door, but the wind's coming from the other side of the tent, so maybe... And it did seem to sound louder now, so it's probably about 25. The tent's standing up well. But the condensation, I mean, there's so much moisture in the air, it's unbelievable. Even my bivy bag failed. <clears throat> it was dry on the outside and wet on the inside, which is weird. So in this occasion, I'd have probably been better just with my sleeping bag. But it's absolutely wild. But the, the tent itself, not a problem. It's just the condensation, but I think anything would condensate in these conditions, literally anything. Because like I say, it's just the moisture in the air, you can see the moisture. Anyway. See, that's only about 20 miles an hour, guys, that. We'll do a proper reading when we get outside. But I don't think you can even see outside. <clears throat> and turn the torch on. can't see me doing much filming when we leave the tents not in that I'll try a little bit but it's horrible we did expect it though we did expect this right I'm gonna get a coffee slowly pack my wet gear away everything's wet the sleeping bag's done all right the sleeping bag is dry inside it's damp on the outside but the bivy bag was soaked on the inside and dry on the outside strange so yeah weird right see when it's light mm. right, I've just tested the wind speed out the door and we got 24.9 as good as 25 I would say now, 
because I've just put my arm outside the door, there is a bit of shelter. So it's probably a little bit more than that. We'll try again when we get out to get a proper reading. But I would imagine it's hitting 30 at times. But the tent's solid, standing firm. It's great. Yeah, it's getting a lot worse, getting quite bad now. Just trying to wait for daylight so we can get packed. Well, get the tents down in daylight. Got about another hour. Well, less than an hour, really. All right, gonna have a final look at the wind and what have you. Because I don't think I'm gonna film. On the way down. miles an hour and look at this and that and the other yeah And the poles are flexing on the red label slightly, probably a little bit more. Yeah, so that's what 23 miles an hour looks like. Gusting slightly more at times, but yeah, it's surprising. That's it. Uh, oh, the wind feels a lot stronger than it is. Oh. Right, anyway, I don't think I'll be filming on the way down. We're just walking straight down past Latrick Car Park, which you can park there to come up here, but it's, it's manic, it's always really busy. And from there, we're gonna walk around Latrick Fell and back over the A66 to where we parked. Right, until next time, cheers. That 20 pence I found. And a bit more.